Alrighty guys, in the last video we set it up our registration section and it was working pretty good. And now in this video we are going to go for the login section. So we're gonna set up our login backend file. And it's also going to be pretty fun, I will be honest with you, okay? It's going to be pretty fun, I'm gonna say CD server and uh, let's go to the login. We'll make a new file in the authentication with the name of uh, login.js. Basically we'll uh, set up our basic file, login. It's going to be an asynchronous file. It's going to take your uh, request and the response. And I have modulo export. It's called login. Oh no! I'm gonna import, import it here and export it directly. I'm gonna say login copy paste. Do like that. And uh, in the validation, we have the login. Okay, we have already it. We already own it. Now in here we need to import same things that we as we did here. Except uh register will be imported as uh login. First of all we're gonna say constant invalid. It's going to be called to validate our request dot body if invalid I wanna say return the response of JSON status zero message is going to be validate right I don't wanna create another function for returning the response of JSON and say constant get the email and uh, get the password from requested body and then I wanna see if they are connected or not constant connect is called the OH User dot find one where email is there. If it's not connected, I wanna say return response.json state of zero. And we know we will not only be checking if the email is not connected or not. We will say even if it is connected, if is the password correct or not? Okay, we don't want to tell them different response if the password is not correct. We don't want to tell them exactly what's wrong. Is it registered? Is that wrong? Or he, the password is incorrect. Is that wrong? So we will say R if oh wait bcrypt we will use bcrypt or compare as I already talked about this one here we need to put our uh, the string that we get from the user and then we need to put our hash the string that we have in the server it will hash the string also and then compare both of them if it was incorrect then we want to say return status zero and message is going to be email or password is incorrect okay basically we're just saying that well after doing that that means basically the password is correct and every single thing is going good alright now at this moment we're gonna have two things uh, basically I think we have only, we'll only ha be having one thing da -da. Da -da. okay we're gonna say if there is no cookie. Wanna say constant cookie is going to be called the request.cookies. If there is no cookie or there is no process.env.refresh cookie name. Is that the correct name? Refresh cookie name. So basically what we are saying right now is the saying if there is no cookie or there is no request.cookies cookie dot it is or like first of all it's saying if there is no cookie like literally there is no cookie or if there is cookie but there is not a cookie with the name of the refreshed cookie name then we wanna do something okay we wanna basically do something oh no we will not say if there is no cookie we'll say if there is cookie so we just wanna do a kinda of like a cross checking thing if the user has some cookies already saved in his you know memory and he just log in, he just wanna log in just to prevent uh, hacking hacker users thing like that okay so what we wanna do while we are log logging him in we want to remove his last request token so to do that we're gonna say uh, okay let's do one thing let's say constant uh, find cookie user is going to be await cookie dot process dot env dot 
refresh cookie name. Await user dot find one, where refresh token is going to be equal to that. That is basically going to be our refresh token. We can just call it here also. Refresh token is going to be. This is a refresh token, so here we can just call it as just a refresh token. Find one, wherever the user cookie user is that. Now we have here two things. So one thing is that we couldn't find that user. That means basically we have already removed that cookie from our database, and this guy was still trying to use it. Okay. So how we go about that? How we go about that? Basically, what we want to do, we want to say first of all. If there is no find user cookie, then we just basically we just want to remove the cookie, okay? Okay, one second. Let me just see about that. That's one. If let's say if the find user cookie was found, then uh, we just want to remove all the cookies of this guy. We will remove it anyway. But what else do we want to do? We want to assign him. Okay, one second. Let's first of all say, okay, this guy was not found. Now we have only one choice. We need to say which ID does the cookie holds. We'll say JWT dot verify our refresh token. We just secret key or process the enemy dot refresh secret key, and then we get the error and the decoded message back. Now here you want to say error then it basically means there was actually no cookie it was just all the myth okay basically it's gonna say okay return never mind we were wrong the cookie was actually wrong and we'll just say you know we'll just clear the cookie anyway we'll just say return but if there was a cookie that means we found the hacker user constant hacker guy hacker user is going to be equal to await oh, user find one where ID of the user is going to be decoder dot underscore ID. Okay. Underscore ID is going to be decoder dot ID. After finding the user, we're gonna say hacker user dot refresh token. Well first of all let's say we get the refresh token of the hacker user and uh, we just get rid of that refresh tokens. Or we'll just delete all the refresh tokens of that hacker user guy. This was a mischievous thing that someone tried to do. Refresh token is going to be empty. We're gonna say empty array, and then we'll say, "Oh wait, hacker user dot save." There we go. We we'll just saved the hacker user new thing without a refresh token. All of the refresh tokens are deleted. So yeah, there. That's it. If it was not found, then we have to do this. Otherwise, we'll just say, uh, "Response dot clear cookie." Process dot enemy dot refresh cookie name and we're just gonna clear it anyway. The both way we're gonna clear it, okay? Well that was the main concept of this thing. And once the cookie is cleared, we have done our extra checkings. Now we are good to go and assign him a new cookie, whatever with whatever details he is trying to log in with, okay? We'll just do a little bit copy pasting uh, with the these two things actually three things save user should be replaced with the connected user and the refresh token will become actually a new refresh token okay because we are giving a new refresh token first refresh token was assigned when he registered itself or a, a cookie options Alrighty, now what we are going to do here, first of all, we need to, if, if the user is logging in, so basically we don't want to clear all the refresh tokens that he already owned. Now at this point we are saying yeah, he didn't have any refresh tokens in his browser, okay, no cookies were there, so he's good to go already. So basically what I want to do now is just say, constant new refresh token array is going to be basically uh, the connected dot 
refresh token all of the old ones all the tokens we got before in an array do 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 what else do we need refresh token. okay we need to add our new refresh token in here so then we can say connected dot refresh token is going to be new refresh token array and then we can say await uh, connected dot save okay so what we did here we made a new refresh token array and we just got all of the old token refresh tokens that were assigned to that user and then we added a new refresh token inside it and then we just uh, assign the value of the refresh token to new refresh token array and then we just save this thing okay so after saving it we should be good to go we can just give them the uh, cookie and the access token refresh token actually new refresh token the cookie options user has been logged in and we are giving the access token as usual and that's uh, login one you can just do this you can just say make it login hit shift plus enter or click Hmm. Make your request login. We're gonna do this. Let's open our MongoDB compass. Okay, we're in the do not default section. We have here one user login in. That's Eldon and password and email. Right? Good. In the refresh token, we only have one token, right? Now, okay, we have to delete this token. Basically, why we have to delete this token? So, the thing is, we logged in using our. We registered using our. What do we say? Uh, what is this thing called as? Panda client. So, it should have deleted the thing. So, we can just basically just delete it. And we can server our start of a node one server and we can go to Thunder Client and we registered using this thing, authentication. Let's try to register again. We got the cookie, we got the access token, okay. Let's try to log in. Status zero. Why didn't it only say state as zero? I'm not sure. I actually am not sure. It's making request to the login of slash login. Are we importing the correct thing? Login. Okay, I'm not sure what's happening, so we're just saying state is zero. Okay. What's the bug? Email and password is incorrect. Okay, basically the authentication is not good. Some issue with the validation file.
if error dot validate our data then if error return error dot details Oh, basically, error is something that's not being shown up. Not sure why. Oh, we are returning the wrong thing. We're returning the function. We are goddamn returning the function. Username is not allowed. Okay, my bad. I knew it already. We were doing something wrong. Email the password is incorrect. That's correct. Now let's see. Something happened. Person stop PNV. Refresh token is equal to. Okay. I guess we just have to say the name. Right? We cannot say process the enemy dot thing. I mean Yeah, we cannot do that. Okay, we cannot do this. We cannot do this. We just have to call it with the name itself. It was the name refresh token. Maybe here we can use the name. Like that. But never mind. Let's see. Connected user is not defined. Login twenty nine. You refresh to open connected user. Not connected user. Disconnected. User has been logged in. We got the cookie. Why did they give us two cookies? Because basically now we have two cookies, right? We don't want two cookies. Now I'm gonna log in. Okay, they're just signing us two cookies. Let's first open. Maybe because of that, we're just saving it, registering it in, in the name of different thing, and then signing up with, with the name of different thing. Yeah, that's the thing. Register, and then try to log in. Okay, what is happening? Response of Claire Cookie.
Yep, that was the thing. That was the thing. What we had to do? No, 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 no. Refresh token. Oh, I got the thing. I got the thing. So here we're just calling it a capital thing. Refresh token is capital. But exactly, it's not capital. It's all small. It just all small, my boy. Cannot really deal with that things. Right. Correct. Now let's delete this thing. Let's say uh, register. We got the cookie, we registered successfully. Now let me try to log in. Okay, we're logging in. Cookie was not added. Okay, we refresh. Okay, we got two cookies basically in this section. Oh, one second. Yeah, 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 I know why. I know why is that the case. Because, because, look what is happening. We're saying in the login section. If the cookie was found, then we want to do this stuff like that, okay? And basically, it is con the user is already connected, right? What we want to do? We want to filter out the cookies. That's the thing. We need to filter out the cookies. How we do that? How we do that? So to do that, we'll just cut this thing, paste this thing, this right here. And we're just saying assign a new, new refresh token, stuff like that. We are assigning the new refresh token. What we have to do? The refresh token is equal to that. Here we need to say if cookie dot refresh token exists then what we wanna do we wanna have our old tokens we wanna say connected dot refresh token token dot filter we wanna run a filter thing we wanna remove our old cookie from it where it is not equal to our refresh token and then we want to get all of them in an array stuff like that we exactly don't want this thing to be an array otherwise do that It should be in an object like that. Oh yeah. Refresh token dot filter. Where is not equal to refresh token, just get all of them back. And we want to have our new refresh token. Okay, so what's happening? Connected password, refresh token. Okay. I hope it's clear now. If cookie was there, then what we want to have, we want to have this thing. Otherwise, we want to have this thing. Delete it. Yeah. 
Register, I'm gonna say login. Okay, we got a lot of issues, I know right. Auth refresh token, refresh token. Okay, we're sending the refresh token as an ob object. I guess I was right already. Oh yeah, I have to add the thing as an array in an array. Not in an object. God damn me. We have an old array. Yeah. We just start a login now. We got that thing. I do a refresh. Okay, I do. I do still get to see two things. I'm still seeing two things. Even though I have this refresh token thing right there. Refresh token dot filter. I can just say here if refresh token is there, then I want to just do these things. And I want to say first of all console dot log. New refresh token array. No one assign me anything. I want to check first of all what is happening. Okay. Let's do a quick check right there. Register. Let's say login. We get the data. We get the two things in the data. Correct, which means it's not deleting anything. Uh, mm. Console log refresh token undefined. Okay, the refresh token is undefined. Yeah, now it's going to be undefined. Before it was not going to be undefined. Whoa, they are just adding two things together. Because they think we don't have any cookie, right? Oh, we're clearing the cookies. Damn it. We're actually clearing the cookies. We have to clear the cookies after this check, or maybe at the very end when we are assigning new cookies. Let's delete. Register. Login. No refresh, hope for the best. Nope, nope, we're not getting seen, we're not seeing anything progress. Okay, let me just do a little bit thinking about this thing for one minute. Well guys, I got the bug. I got the bug, I'm gonna do a little bit of go back. We were always right, but we never got the cookie parser in here. Holy crap, we need to get cookie parser imported. Oh no, we actually got the cookie parser. But where is the cookie parser? I'm just kidding. I need to do it, so just give me one minute. Okay, guys, I found the issue. It's the refresh token is with the same, say with the name of refresh token as a capital thing. It's just with the name of refresh token. As simple as it gets. Huh? Alright, so other things are pretty good. Menu refresh, we have a few things here, I'm gonna delete it. This is the final step, okay? We're gonna clear all the cookies. Register. Register them. Log in. Log in the guy. My guy is here. You can see we only have one token right now here. 
which is gi in the cookies we have gi as the latest one we we'll try to log in again we get 660 we did a refresh we have one of the only one cookie here and in the end we have 660 so you can see now it's working pretty fine our only issue was we were having the trying to get the cookie with the wrong name so well, yeah that's the thing and this is the hacker user thing if we just try to manipulate our cookie well we will be also trying to interrupt whether you know change something in our cookie and then we just try to see if it's actually working correctly or not we'll just try to make our hacker user situation also but that's only about to sing because we're going, going to do that afterwards for now we're just saying yeah everything is correct right there so yeah we are pretty much good to go we are logging in perfectly now we can just try to log in another thing also. so we can try to log in this thing with another with somewhere different location and that location can be maybe from our browser maybe somewhere different so we can exactly get to see oh yeah this is goddamn working what we can do we can just get rid of the cookie try to log in we get the cookie we do a refresh here we should see two cookies now because there was this guy was having no cookie, which means he was brand new and now let me just show you this guy's cookies we just now use a two now okay uh, zero zy we do another send one we get vo we do a refresh right there we have second one we should see vo at the end okay that means we are having the capability of handling multiple users it will work according to that and the first guy you just you know he will be there forever now unless something we do we do some checks sometime just to remove all of the basic refresh tokens but it's pretty okay for us okay I mean we can just keep it there unless someone is trying to log in with that thing and that means just basically that token is not valid valid anymore and he, he just trying to log in so we just have to delete it okay well yeah that was it for this video in the next video we are going to okay what are we going to do in the next video in the next video we are going to connect our registration and login page probably in the next few videos so I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.